morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Citizens Advisory Committee meeting uh, held virtually Monday, November 1, 2021. Meeting is called to order at 3.02, and I'll now turn it over to our general manager. Thank you, Vice Chair Starmer. Uh, we'll start with a roll call. So when you hear your uh, name, if you could uh, respond verbally, please let us know who's on the call. Uh, I'll note for the record that Vice Chair Bill Starmer is on the call. So we're just talking to him. And uh, James House. I'm here. Thank you. Larry Carr. Here. Uh, Gutierrez. Here. Ron Newell. Marshall Desai. Oh, there you go. Jim Giordano. I'm here. Brian Wilson. Here. Norm Ashford. Present. And Karina Berrigan. Present. And I think I just saw Ron uh, come on to the meeting. Ron, are you present? I'm present. Just got okay. back from the doctor. Gotcha. We had Bill uh, start the meeting for us. So <laughs> thank you. Okay. Item number one is comments by the general public. Uh, this is a period devoted to comments by the general public about items on this agenda. Is there anyone on the call wishing to address the committee this morning or this afternoon? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hearing none, we'll move on to item two, which is action to approve the agenda with the deletion of any items. Uh, Mr. Chair, we do have a, a change to the agenda, a couple of changes that I need to note for the record. Um, the first change is in item eight, as it's listed on the agenda. Uh, it should have been noted as four possible action and it was not. So we'll note that change uh, for the record and make sure that we get that change made before we go to board. Also in that same item, uh, item eight, uh, in the background on the actual item, uh, there's a, a mistake in the write-up under section, this is all just for the record, but for uh, in section four, inter, or sorry, section six, interlocal contracts in the third bullet, um, the quarter mile rule should refer to local drainage projects as opposed to laterals on CIP projects. So those uh, two changes, staff would recommend approval of the agenda. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Bill Starmer, City of Las Vegas, move to approve the agenda as amended. There's a motion on the floor to approve the agenda as amended by Bill Starmer. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously. Item 2A is annual elections. Uh, Mr. Chair, as noted in our policies and procedures, every November we elect a slate of officers, vice, a chair, a vice chair, and a representative for our technical advisory committee meetings. Um, I did reach out to both the current chair, Ron Newell, uh, Newell, and our vice chair, Bill Starmer, and both indicated a willingness to continue to serve if that is the desire of this committee. Uh, but we would need a, a motion, or if there's any other nominees, uh, feel free to, to, to make a motion for them. Uh, this is Norm Ash for City Mesquite. I move the motion ahead. Okay, are you... You're moving to rename Ron Newell as chair and Bill Starmer as vice chair? Yes. Is anyone willing to uh, serve as the representative for the technical advisory committee uh, meetings? Um, we don't have a representative right now. It used to be Bill Starmer and he moved up to the vice chair. And I think Larry Schultz took his place, but he's no longer on the committee. So if someone is interested in doing that, uh, feel free to speak up and we can make that a part of the motion. All that person does is attend the TAC meetings and kind of represent the CAC at the TAC, but it's not uh, kind of mission critical that uh, that gets filled, but it is a requirement of the policies. Okay, item 2A is 
uh, interested in doing it, I, I could do that for a year. Okay. Great. So, uh, Norm Ashford, can we amend your motion to include Jim Giordano as the representative for the Technical Advisory Committee? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's motion on the floor to name uh, Ron Newell as chair, Bill Starmer as vice chair, and Jim Giordano as the Technical Advisory Committee member uh, representative. Uh, any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously. Congratulations to all three of you. Uh, item three is action to approve the minutes of the October 4, 2021 meeting. Uh, Mr. Chair, the meeting, uh, the meeting minutes are in order for approval. Uh, any discussion on, uh, sorry, any discussion? Entertain a motion. Ron, we will approve the minutes. There's a motion on the floor for approval of the minutes by Ron Newell. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carries unanimously. Item four is action to uh, accept the fine. Can you go next slide, please? Thank you. Item four is action to approve the or to accept the financial reports. Uh, Mr. Chair, we did uh, receive sales tax information for the month of August. It'll come up on a slide here. We have next slide, Tammy. Um, the actual uh, sales tax receipts for the month of August were eleven million one hundred and seventy six thousand eight hundred and thirty nine dollars and fifty one cents. Um, that's a little over 2.1 million above what we estimated for the month of August. So again, we're seeing really record sales tax numbers for the last six months. It's been kind of amazing to see the numbers all over 11 million for the last six months. Um, so we're at about 23, uh, that was about 23.3% higher than what we had estimated uh, for the month um, for the year. We're up to $22,604,430, uh, which is about $4.6 million higher than estimated or about 20, almost 26%. So I don't know how much longer this is going to last, but uh, we'll enjoy it while it does. And generally, uh, extra funding, if it comes in, can flow right into the construction. We'll do an augmentation and flow that money generally into the construction and use it for projects. So we'll see uh, how we end up towards the end of the fiscal year. Um, on the screen is the rolling 12 month sales tax chart and you can see a, a swift rise upward from between February and August, uh, which is again representing these high numbers that we've been uh, receiving. So uh, glad to see it. I hope it lasts, but uh, um, I'm not confident that it's going to continue to be so high, but we'll we'll take it while it lasts. With that, uh, staff would recommend you accept the financial report. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Berta Gutierrez, Clark County, motion to approve the financial report. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor to approve the or to accept the financial report from Bertha Gutierrez. Uh, any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. <laughs> and that motion carries unanimously. Item five is action to adopt amendments to the tenure construction program. Mr. Chair, these are um, amendments to the tenure program for fiscal impacts that occur later in the agenda. Staff recommends approval. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Ron will approve item five. There's a motion on the floor for approval from Ron Newell for item five. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carries unanimously. Item six is action to accept the final accounting reports and close out the fiscal year 
2021 maintenance work program in our local contract with each entity. Uh, Mr. Chair, we've completed our final accounting for the FY21 maintenance work program. So we're closing out all of the interlocal contracts that we have with each of the entities. Um, they did a pretty good job spending the money this uh, year. Um, almost 92% of the funds that were budgeted were spent on the maintenance, uh, which is pretty high, uh, higher than usual. Uh, but that's good. So we're glad to see that money being well spent. Um, staff would recommend proof that you accept the final accounting reports and close out uh, the maintenance work program in our local contracts. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Nor measure for C. Mesquite move to approve. Thank you. There's a motion for approval of item six from Norm Ashford. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carries unanimously. Item seven is action to accept the final accounting report and close out the interlocal contract for the following project. Uh, Flamingo Boulder Highway North, Boulder Highway Sahara to Charleston, City of Las Vegas. Um, this is a close out. This project has completed construction and they're closing out the design interlocal. Um, the, the close out will return $174,546.06. Staff recommends approval. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Bill Starmer, City of Las Vegas, move to approve item number seven. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor for approval from Bill Starmer. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously. Item eight is action to adopt amendments to the Regional Flood Control District Policies and Procedures Manual 2021 Annual Review and Update. Mr. Chair, uh, we do have a number of changes uh, to the Policies and Procedures Manual. I'm going to go through each one kind of quickly, just so you have a, an understanding of uh, what is proposed to be changed and why. And then uh, if you have any questions at the end of that, I'll be happy to try to answer those. Um, so I'm going to be flowing through the background as it's written on the agenda item, if you want to follow along. Um, section two, uh, project development. The first bullet is related to master plans, updates, changes, and amendments. Um, the change to this uh, policy is just to remove some redundant language that's in the policy related to conformity with the regional policy plan. So uh, no, no major policy change there. It's just to clean up the, the language in the section. Uh, the second bullet is implementation of the master plan. Um, this is a clarification to a quarter mile rule. So the way that the policy is written right now, if you have a lateral that's within a quarter mile of, uh, of a mainline facility, that lateral is considered part of that facility. And we need those laterals to collect water uh, that's coming in from the side of a, of a storm drain, for example. Um, so we're clarifying that that quarter mile is, with, is a quarter mile in length from that facility and not just a quarter mile within the facility. We had a problem with an interpretation of that, meaning that if it was parallel to the main line, but with a, within a quarter mile of it, that that counted and it doesn't. So we're changing that language to clarify that it's a quarter mile in length. Um, the third bullet, uh, implementation of the master plan. Um, this omits a requirement that a, a, a cash flow projection be submitted with a uh, request for construction funding for a project. Um, years ago, we started requiring cash flow projections uh, in an effort to try to leverage dollars as to how the, the spend down occurs on a project, uh, which is usually like a bell shaped uh, curve. Um, we're not going to change how we fund projects based on that. So we don't really need uh, that cash flow projection anymore. It's just unnecessary work that's being required of the entity. So we're just getting rid of that requirement altogether. Section three, uh, project requirements, uh, right of way. Um, this deals with residual property. So if we purchase property for a flood control project using 
regional flood control district dollars and the final uh, project doesn't utilize all of that right of way and we have a remnant piece of uh, property this deals with how to how to handle that we can either sell it or hold on to it or lease it out or what have you and so we're changing the language to make sure we're in compliance with state law on how to handle uh, residual properties. Uh, section four, um, the, the first bullet there regarding construction contract advertising bid and award. This is just a conformity change to this section to, to deal with the fact that we're removing the cash flow requirement from uh, the, uh, the requirements of the entities to get construction funding. Se uh, section six, uh, interlocal contracts, the first bullet, standard interlocal contract requirements. Again, this is a conformity change resulting from the cash flow projection removal. Um, section, uh, the second bullet, standard interlocal contract requirements. Um, this uh, has to do with retention of, of hard copy documents that each of the entities are required to comply with, both by state law and their own, uh, their own statutes. Um, or ordinances. Um, so we're revising our language so that we just comply with what the city or the county require so that we're not in conflict. Our policy is not in conflict with any of their policies. Um, the third bullet, local drainage uh, participation. Participation Again, this this a local drainage project, uh, we will pay 100% of a local drainage facility uh, within one quarter mile of the regional facility. And again, we had a miss... Uh, misclarification on uh, well it's just clarifying that that one quarter mile is in length and not just parallel to but within a quarter mile of uh, of a regional facility and then finally uh, all the exhibits uh, exhibits a uh, through j listed there in the in the backup are conformity changes to the standard template uh, uh, contracts that are in the back of the policies or procedures to incorporate all the changes that I just went through. So that was a lot to take in. I'm happy to try to answer any questions if there are any any discussions. If there are none, uh, staff would recommend that you adopt the amendments. Entertain a motion. Jim Giordano, City of Pierce, I'll make a motion that we um, adopt the amendments as presented here. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor for approval by uh, Jim Giordano. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously. Item nine is action to approve a request to reallocate funding within the interlocal contract for construction for Hollywood system phase two, Nellis Air Force Base Reach, City of North Las Vegas. Ms. Chair, this is a reallocation of funding within the interlocal contract. There's no fiscal impact as a result of this uh, reallocation. Uh, they're requesting to move $25,000 out of the construction line item and add $20,000 to the in-house labor and $5,000 to construction management. Staff recommends approval. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Ron Newell, approve item number nine. Here's a motion on the floor for approval from Ron Newell. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously. Item 10 is action to approve the second supplemental interlocal contract for design to reallocate funding to include a line item for entity design labor for Duck Creek, Blue Diamond, Bermuda Road to Las Vegas Boulevard, Clark County. Mr. Chair, this is a supplement that adds a line item for the entity design labor costs and then reallocates funding uh, within the interlocal contract to provide funding in that line item, that new line item, and also adds funding to the environmental and to the Palmer Lomer uh, line items, letter map revision line item. Uh, there's no fiscal impact as a result of this uh, item. Staff recommends approval. Any discussion? <coughs> Entertain a motion. 
Bill Starmer, City of Las Vegas, uh, move to approve item number 10. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor from Bill Starmer to approve item 10. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimous. Item 11 is action to approve the supplemental interlocal contracts for design and construction to, stem, to extend the project completion date for the following projects. Item 11A is the 17th supplemental Pittman North Detention Basin and Outfall City of Henderson. Item 11B is second su supplemental local drainage improvements for Chickasaw Storm Drain City of Henderson. Item 11C is third supplemental Flamingo Boulder Highway North, Boulder Highway Sahara to Charleston, City of Las Vegas. Um, these are just extensions of times for the interlocal contracts. Um, item 11A, that project is completed. They're just trying to get some final paperwork from the state to allow for impoundment in the uh, detention basin. Um, item 11B, uh, this is a local drainage project in Henderson that is uh, being designed in-house by the by the city of Henderson. And they're getting close to uh, finishing that design up and starting construction, but need additional time to keep the contract open through construction. And then item C the, uh, is the Boulder Highway North project. This project's also completed construction. Uh, all, it's all done. However, the, uh, the city is trying to wrap up their final uh, documentation for the project needed an extension of time to get that done. So staff recommends approval items 11A, B, and C. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Norm Ash for the City of Mesquite. Move to approve 11A, B, and C as presented. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor for approval of items 11A, B, and C from Norm Ashford. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Now motion carries unanimous. Item 12. Is Blue Diamond Wash, Arville Street to I-15 Clark County. Item 12A is action to accept the project presentation. Uh, we do have a presentation prepared for this item. Uh, Mr. Lant Levitt with Westwood will be presenting. Um, so Lant, when you're ready, you can take yourself off mute and you can begin your presentation. Good afternoon, I'm Lant Levitt with Westwood Professional Services. I'll be presenting the Blue Diamond Wash Arville Street to I-15 project. Uh, this project is being prepared for Clark County Department of Public Works and is being funded by Regional Flood Control District. Next slide. This is a project vicinity map. Uh, you can see the uh, 215 Beltway and in the, inter the uh, Interstate 15 there and the project site is southwest of that located uh, near the intersection of Arville and Robindale. Next slide, please. So this is another vicinity map which shows a little bit more detail. Uh, you can see on the lower uh, left side of the slide, there's an existing riprap channel that's in the Moberly Avenue alignment. Our facility is gonna connect into that with a concrete channel and then turn the corner in Arville Street as a reinforced concrete pipe and then uh, travel down Robindale as a uh, reinforced concrete pipe that then transitions to a reinforced concrete box. And finally to a, a section of open channel um, that connects in with a uh, existing structure in I-15 end up right away. Um, the uh, upstream and downstream structures both have maintenance access, which will help out the ability to access the area and perform maintenance as needed. So next slide, please. Project components include 3,240 linear feet of 60 inch pipe 1,696 linear feet of 72 inch pipe, 844 linear feet of six foot by five foot reinforced concrete box, approximately 300 feet of concrete channel and associated drainage appurtenances, including uh, drop inlets and other items. Next slide, please. This is the uh, standard trench section for the project. It shows the uh, RCP there in, in the middle with bedding and backfill requirements and a, a reference for the uh, call for the roadway pavement section that needs to be replaced after construction of the storm drain. Next slide, please. Uh, these are a couple of pictures of existing facilities in the area. The uh, one on the left is the upstream riprap channel on the Moberly Avenue alignment that our facility will connect into. 
The uh, picture on the right is the downstream it's, uh, earthen and with a gratted uh, side channel there, a gratted group rep side on the uh, channel that ties in with the end dot culvert. You can kind of see in the very end of that picture. Next slide, please. Project cost uh, for design, including right of way, environmental design, engineering, entity design, labor, and a uh, letter of map revision. Uh, the design total is $650,000 for the project for construction, including construction, construction management, and entity labor cost is approximately $6.65 million for a total project cost of approximately $7.3 million. Next slide, please. Funding eligibility requirements. Uh, these are all met for this project. They include having the design documents at 90% complete. Uh, all necessary right-of-way has been obtained and state, local, and federal permits have been satisfied, including environmental and uh, an NDOT encroachment permit. Next slide, please. Construction schedule. Uh, we have an anticipated award of bid date of February 2022, uh, construction start date in May of 2022, an approximate project duration of around one year with a uh, construction completion date in May of 2023. Next slide, please. That concludes the presentation. And are there any questions? Uh, this is Larry Carr with Boulder City. And I was just curious about the construction management at $600,000 for uh, 12 months. So what does that entail out of curiosity? Uh, so that's, that's a number that's supplied by the county, but it involves um, uh, Monitoring the construction, uh, testing, um, making sure things are, are built like they're supposed to be built. Uh, and, you know, over a year of time, there ends up being uh, quite a few items that come up during construction. So um, I can uh, I can look into what similar projects are cost and uh, get back to you if you like. Um, but that's that's what I know about that. Okay, I guess it's it just seems like a high amount if you know if you're talking about a year cost, you've got a couple people's salary in there, I imagine. And so that seems awful high, but maybe if you're doing a lot of testing or there's you know, if you had six people at a hundred thousand dollars for the whole year, that would be you know, it's it just seems like a just curious about what all it entails. Sure. Uh, this, yeah. Steve Harris, generally the entity will put in about 10% of the construction costs as this uh, for this amount, but they'll negotiate a contract with usually with the third party construction manager. So they may or may not spend all of the $600,000, but that's generally what they what they put in the contract to get get the thing funded. Um, and, you know, they they will they will look at how many days it is, how many people will be involved in that type of thing. Um, so, uh, you know, it, that's pretty typical for what we see. Okay. So 10% is sort of, that's, I just, it's just, it was just curiosity. You don't have to do any additional work. I was just, it just seems high. And, and like I said, once they negotiate the contract, um, they'll, it may be less than this, uh, 600,000 and if whatever money's left over will be returned at project close out. And Steve, yeah, I'd yeah, part of it is I'm trying to understand the new new costs and stuff like that for other projects that I'm involved with. So just sort of a curiosity. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just point out too that the construction managements when the county will negotiate it are usually done on an hourly rate. So that money, like Steve said, will be returned and it'll only be spent on the work that they actually do for the project. Any, any other questions for Lant or anybody else? Just one other thought on the construction management. I think that, you know, I think that would also include, like if there were inspectors on the job, that would also include their vehicles and the fuel, fuel for those vehicles and that kind of thing. So there's other things in there other than just labor, right? Right, yeah, and it, it adds up. Okay, there's, uh, thanks, Lant. If there's no other questions, staff would recommend you accept the project presentation on 12A. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Well, 
Don Newell motion to accept the uh, action item or um, the project presentation. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor for uh, to accept the project presentation by Ron Newell. Uh, any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously. Item 12B is action to approve the interlocal contract for construction. Mr. Chair, this is an interlocal contract with a total value of $6,650,000. There are sufficient funds for this project. Staff recommends approval. Any discussion? Entertain a motion. Ron Newell, motion to approve item 12B. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor for approval from Ron Newell for item 12B. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously. Item 13 is action to approve the supplemental interlocal contracts for design and construction to increase funding for the following projects. 13A is first supplemental, Blue Diamond Channel 02, Decatur, LeBaron to Richmar, Phase 1, Clark County, and item 13B is seventh supplemental, Fairgrounds Detention Basin and Outfall, uh, Clark County. Uh, Mr. Chair, item 13A is a supplement with a fiscal impact of $86,153. Um, this is to provide additional funds for construction due to bids that were higher than expected. We should get a report on award of it, I think, uh, probably next cycle. And then uh, item 13B is the seventh supplemental fairgrounds detention basin in now fall Clark County. This is a supplement with a fiscal impact of $160,000. Um, they're adding $120,000 to the design line item and $40,000 to in-house labor. Um, this money is to be used for construction support and post-construction uh, reporting. Staff recommends approval of items 13A and B. Any discussion? Um, this is Jim Jordan on City Henderson. I'm going to abstain from voting on item A just because my company owns property immediately downstream of the detention basin. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Any other discussion or comments? Entertain a motion. Bill Starmer, City of Las Vegas, moved to approve item 13A. And 13B. Thank you. There's a motion on the floor for approval items 13A and B. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And that motion carries unanimously with one abstention noted by Jim Jordano for item 13A. Next slide, please. Item 14 is comments by the general public. Uh, these are comments by the general public about matters relevant to the Regional Flood Control District Advice Citizens Advisory Committee. Is there anyone on the call wishing to address the committee this afternoon? And then uh, I will point out that the percent positive cases of COVID have been dropping pretty uh, dramatically lately. We're down to a little over six and a half percent, which isn't too bad. So eventually we're probably going to consider bringing everyone back in and doing in-person meetings again. Uh, once we make that decision, we'll be sure to let everyone know and uh, give you ample time to, to start coming into the meetings as opposed to doing it online. Um, we still don't have the capability at this point to do a hybrid um, in the room that we hold these meetings. Um, and so hopefully we can get the infrastructure in there that we need so that if some of you have to come in from a long distance, uh, you can just call in as opposed to driving in. But uh, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So uh, until then, we'll, we'll be sure to keep you all informed as to what's going on and if we, if we make any changes. Until then, we'll just continue to do the uh, the online for, for the time being. Anything else from anyone? Steve, I have a question, but I, if I can do it, I can do it afterwards. I just have a question about one of the Boulder City 10-year plan items, but it can be done um, after we close, if that's okay. Uh, it's not relative to the item. It's just a, it's a question. 
Yeah, just a question. It's not relative to the agenda. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can circle back to us after after the meeting. Try to get that answer. Well, I just wonder if you can stay online. Oh, if that's okay. That's okay. So we can do that. Uh, Meantime, I'll turn it back over to to Chair uh, Newell to close out the meeting. Thank you, everybody. Sorry I was late, and uh, want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, can turn the meeting at uh, three thirty-eight. Thank you all. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.